I'm pretty sure we all saw this coming for the Mac. Apple's gonna use their own chips in the Mac. And really that's not a far cry because Apple's been using all their own chips well, in iOS and iPad devices. So in two minutes or less, I'm gonna summarize what Apple told us about Apple Silicone, and then I'm gonna end it off with why I'm a little disappointed with it. Basically the first six minutes of the Apple Silicone presentation was just one giant fluffy marketing word salad. There were giant numbers put on the screen and the standard chart showing where they wanna be. It was just really painful to get through that part. And they just showed us information that we all kinda of knew. Their processors are gonna be faster and more power efficient. Now with the new chips and the software, Apple has ensured that the new apps will work on Macs with both the new Apple Silicon chips and the old Intel ones. The chips on the first developer units look like it's gonna be the same as the latest iPad Pro. Using Microsoft Excel on the Apple Silicon is gonna be really, really fast apparently. Pro apps from Adobe are also gonna be very, very fast. Playing 4K video is also gonna be very, very fast. This next one's pretty important because older apps that don't get updated can be used with the new Macs running Apple Silicon with a conversion tool called Rosetta 2. Rosetta 1 was the tool used to make sure apps work between PowerPC and Intel chips, and that actually worked fairly well. I don't remember any problems with it, so you know Rosetta 2 is gonna probably be pretty good as well. Virtualization made an appearance in the presentation, but I'm really not sure because it said nothing specific to Apple Silicon. They show Linux, but how about Windows? And last but not least, with these new Apple Silicon Macs, you can run iPhone and iPad apps. And the question I have for that last point is, why? Seriously, why would you want to play a iOS game with a mouse pointing device? Like that just seems so backwards. So that's the summary. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to check out some of the other reviews that I've been doing. I'm a daily tech reviewer, daily tech reviewer, where I'm producing reviews almost on a daily basis, which is crazy. I'm not an influencer, I'm a reviewer, helping you guys get the most out of the money that we all hard work hard for. Anyways, this video is brought to you by Paper. No, it's not, I don't do that stuff. This channel's unsponsored. So why was I disappointed with this presentation? Well, as I said at the beginning of the two minute summary is that this first six minutes was just basically a giant word salad. And throughout this entire presentation, there was nothing that showed me how powerful this new chip could be in the Max. You know, they threw up numbers, you know, a thousand times faster between the old iPad and this new generation of chips. And it's like, cool, but that has absolutely no value, right? That's just numbers that mean nothing. Now we generally all know that the processors in like, you know, the latest iPad and iPhones are generally more powerful than most, you know, portable PCs. But it'd still just be neat for them to show, you know, just the raw processing power of this updated chip that they're gonna send all these developers because, What's the point of coming out with a new chip if you're not gonna tout its strength? You know, the way I see it, it's like after I go through a, you know, a strength building program for three months and I add, you know, 10 pounds to my max uh, squat and it's like, we all know, you know, I'm telling everybody I can squat a lot more, but I'm just gonna show you guys me squatting at 50%, right? Like that just, doesn't make any sense to me. It's like losing a bunch of weight and then the clothes that don't fit you, you buy even baggier clothes because you're like, you know, that, that just makes sense. Like, no, it doesn't. And this almost feels like how Apple announced the garbage can <laughs> Mac Pro, right? They showed us this amazing thing and then it took so long to come out. There are almost no specifics about that garbage can thing. And you know, they just kind of dangled in front of us until we all got bored of it and forgot about it. It'd be crazy if Apple Silicone for the Macs turned out to be vaporware. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you are wondering about, you know, some of the other new technologies that Apple introduced during the uh, keynote, do check out my two minutes, two minute summaries for the iOS, iPad OS, Apple Watch, Apple AirPods, as well as Big Sur, sure, sir. Yeah. First time watching my videos and do encourage you to click subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is Monty, he is not a stuffed dog. He is a real puppy, a real life puppy, right? Come here. You're smelling stuff, you're smelling stuff. Look, he can almost sit like a human. Sit. Thanks for watching.